The Mercedes-Benz G-Class's original claim to fame was for its off-road capabilities, being able to scurry up sand dunes, crawl over rocks, trudge through mud, and splash through deep water. But then somewhere along the way during its 40 years of existence, the box on wheels also became a status symbol to roam the streets of cities like Miami and Los Angeles. And now a new G-Class generation has debuted for 2019. It of course still features formable off-road chops, but now also packs a slew of improvements to make it a more competent and comfortable on-road cruiser to be seen in. At first glance, the new G550 may not look all that different from its predecessor, still being its boxy, beautiful self. I wasn't high on the $6,500 desert sand paint job seen here at first, but it's growing on me and contrasts nicely with the black bull bar, mirror housings, various trim bits, and accents on the 20-inch wheels that are part of an optional night package. There is, however, an easy way to tell a new G from the old, and that's up front where the round headlights get outlined by LED daytime running lights. But before you go off dismissing the sheet metal as simply carryover, know that everything is actually new with the exception of the spare tire cover and door handles to retain the G's trademark click when opening and closing the doors. Unlike the outside, the inside of the new G sports big upgrades. The passenger grab handle and trio of differential lock buttons remain, but everything else is very different. For starters, it's roomier with the front and back seats enjoying more shoulder and elbow room thanks to the car being nearly 5 inches wider than its predecessor. Rear seats are also moved further back, helping to open up an extra 6 inches of legroom, which is a much welcome sight. Small design changes also improve matters. The shifter moves from the center console to the steering column to open up real estate for proper cup holders, and an electric parking brake allows for the installation of a large center armrest compartment. And with a $12,000 exclusive interior package installed, there's stitched Napa leather everywhere, as well as cushy massaging front seats to make everything inside feel first class. On the tech front, it's the latest command interface overseeing infotainment with a 12.3 inch center screen with controls handled by a center console touchpad, rotary dial, or steering wheel thumb pads. Controls are easy to pick up to work the Burmester sound setup, navigation, and both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto if you don't care for command. A second 12.3 inch display is also available if traditional gauges aren't fancy enough for you, and driver's aids like adaptive cruise, brake assist, blind spot monitoring, and lane keep assist come standard. For power, there's a 4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 churning away under the hood, delivering 416 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque that works with a 9-speed automatic transmission that helps return a not-so-great 13 miles per gallon in the city and 17 miles per gallon on the highway. Following some slight lag, there's a lot of thrust to get things to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds, and that's accompanied by ear-pleasing pops and growls from the optional sport exhaust system when you have the car in sport mode. As for the transmission, it always delivers smooth and quick shifts and can rev match your downshifts, which is cool to see in a big SUV. But the biggest improvement is how the G drives on road. The recirculating ball steering and solid front axle are gone, and electromechanical steering and independent front suspension are in. This car also has adaptive dampers to feel so much better behind the wheel. Now, while I like sport mode for the engine, I'm not a fan of it for the chassis. Steering is just overly heavy and ride quality is too crashy. Instead, I've kept things in comfort most of the time for reasonable steering response and a nice compliant ride on these 20 inch Pirelli tires. It's not sloppy around turns in comfort either. I'll admit the first day I had this G approaching corners quick, doubts would pop into my head sitting up so high and looking down on people's roofs, and I'd also remember how the old car behaved. But then I'd enter the corner, it'd turn in fine, roll would be controlled, and it'd get through much better than expected. So on the exit, I'd be like, oh, didn't really need to worry about that. A better handling G is just now the norm. Now, a lot has changed on the 2019 Mercedes-Benz G550 for the better, like cabin comfort, tech, and handling. It's kept important hallmark attributes too, like exterior styling and off-road capabilities. Another thing that hasn't changed is that it ain't cheap. It's a $124,500 vehicle to start for an SUV that isn't the most practical or spacious at its price point. This one here will beat up the old bank account even more, stickering for $153,000 with options. But really, there's nothing else like it out there that offers a mixture of presence, capability, and now comfort quite like the G-Wagon. Do I want one? Heck yeah, I do. Unfortunately, for that to happen, it's gonna involve me coming into a lot of money.